Hi, I'm John McLaughlin, an Applications Engineer here at National Instruments, and today I want to talk to you about the MyPulse, using the NI MyDAC and LabVIEW in order to measure your pulse. So, if we look at the circuitry a little bit more, you can see that it's really simple. It consists of two resistors and an optical sensor which I've embedded into this strap. So, once the user puts their finger inside, it will detect the change in the light intensity, and then from this, generate a voltage, which is picked up and displayed using LabVIEW. So now if we look through the software side of things, you can see here that I'm able to actually display your pulse in a graphical format on the VI's front panel. And not only that, I added a little bit of functionality here, which will actually convert it into beats per minute as well. Pretty cool. So you can see here, we have the code on the block diagram of my VI. You can, I'm using three Express VI's. And these are split up into the three easy stages of acquire, analyze, and present. In particular, if we start off with the acquire stage, you can see I'm using a DAC Assistant Express VI in order to acquire data from the analog input zero channel off my MyDAC. So during the analyze stage, I'm using a filter Express VI in order to filter frequencies above 5 Hz using a low pass filter. I decided to create this filter within software in order to show how easy this can be done within LabVIEW. So here we have the present stage. I'm using a sub VI here that's highlighted called the peak detector VI which will show me how many peaks have been detected within the waveform coming in from my analog input si signal. It will give me an output of the numbers found and then I will be continuously adding this up over the 10 seconds of elapsed time that I've set within my Blue Express VI. Once this 10 seconds has now passed, it will change the case structure over here over to true. And once it changes it to true, it will take that 10 seconds worth of data, times it up by 6 to give me an output indication in beats per minute. After this case has been executed, it will then reset the shift register value back down to zero. So, in order to make this VI a little bit more interactive, I decided to add in a MyPulse circuit theory question, which simply will get you to find the input current to the LED infrared emitter of the circuit itself. You can do this by using the MyDEX DMM and the software panel that is available from the Elvis drivers that you install with the NI MyDAC. And once they answer the question, you can check it by moving the box, as shown. So, as you place your finger into the strap and run the front panel, you can see your pulse being displayed. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you wish to recreate this project, the manual is actually available for download, which will give you some instructions on how to do so. And not only that, the VI itself will be available on our community forums for you to have a look at. Well, that, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.